So this is the Beast X from a new brand called WL Mouse. It does come with the latest specs you would expect and it does come with a full magnesium top shell all for the price of $140. So what do you actually get for that price point? Well, first of all, a very premium unboxing experience. Inside the box, you do get the mouse itself along with the very oversized dongle, which I'll talk about later. The mouse also does come included with four different pairs of skates, two PTFE skates and two glass skates. They also do include a pair of grip tape that does feel pretty good for being the stock ones out of the box. And they do feel pretty close to the Cicada grips from X-Ray Pad. And finally, you do have a color match charging cable and your user manual. The specs of this mouse are also going to be top line. The weight of the mouse is 40 grams. The clicks on this mouse are going to be the Omron Opticals. The sensor on this mouse is going to be the Pixart 5395. And combining that with the Nordic 52840 MCU, the mouse does go up to 4000 Hz in the polling rate. The quality on my unit actually feels really good. There is going to be some flexing on the sides of the mouse, but if you're not applying an exaggerated amount of pressure, it's not going to snap or break on you. Pretty much no flexing at all on the top of the mouse. There is going to be some flexing on the bottom of the mouse, but that is to be expected on these types of magnesium mice since the bottom is usually made of plastic. The parts of the mouse that you'll be touching do feel smooth to the touch with just a couple places on the mouse having a sharp feel to it, but those are located in places that you won't be feeling when you're gripping the mouse. The clicks on this mouse are what really surprised me with just how good they are. Mouse 1 and 2 feel really good little to no post or pre-travel and they do have a tiny bit of wobble on the actual triggers and the implementation of the Armron opticals feel really snappy and well tuned. The side buttons on my unit also do feel really good with little to no post or pre-travel and they don't wobble around the shell like I've seen on a few final mouse copies. The stock skates that come in the box are decent for what they are. I am currently using the four corner PTFE skates on a Saturn Pro and have no complaints at all. Out of the box, the mouse doesn't come with any skates installed on the mouse so you are free to install whatever skates you would like. So the shape of this mouse is pretty much going to be a one-to-one -one clone of the Starlight 12 Medium by Final Mouse. It's going to be a very low profile ambidextrous mouse that in my opinion is going to be best suited for people that do use fingertip or claw grip. I do have 16.5 by 9 centimeter hands and found that fingertip was the best grip that worked for me with this mouse. So people that do have slightly larger hands than me might find this mouse perfect for claw grip. When I did try to claw grip this mouse, it wasn't the most comfortable experience just because you do feel all the holes right underneath your palm, making for a very awkward feeling in the hand. As for fingertip grip, this mouse is a joy to use, feeling very stable in the hand and the holes on the sides of the mouse, at least for me, added a little bit of grip to the mouse. Now onto the most eye-catching part of the mouse and that's gonna be this very large dongle. I do give props to WL Mouse releasing a dongle like this, as the features it does come with are really cool to see, especially in a world where most dongles are just a black rectangle. The most prominent feature is going to be this large full color display that defaults to just showing some stats about your mouse, such as your battery, DPI, and your polling rate. The software does allow you to upload custom images to the dongle, as well as animated GIFs. The viewing angles on the screen are not going to be the best, but when you are mostly looking down at it, just for a quick glance, it works just fine. As much as I want to recommend this mouse to people, it's pretty hard to do so, especially at the current state that the mouse is at. The mouse itself for me is great, have no real issues with the actual product currently, but I know a lot of people that will be frustrated with this mouse. For starters, if you do have smaller hands than me and fingertip grip, this mouse will be pretty much impossible to use just because of the holes on the main clicks and claw gripping feels awkward enough just because of the holes in the middle of the mouse. Other than that, the software needs a lot of work in terms of the actual design and the actual features it gives to the users, but if you are someone that can overlook all these issues, this mouse is really great and an overall joy to use.